Liftechooks.com has the juice. Guys, I lost the fight. I mean, did I have a, a, an embarrassing moment be getting pick, uh, being picked up? 100%. But uh, I, I know that I can, if, if I could jump back on track and really get my shit in order and really understand where is it that I could recover and maybe modify the camp a little bit, that everything's gonna be all right. All right, guys, so we are here getting ready to watch my fight against Murad Davalishvili. Uh, I've only watched it one time. And so this is gonna be my second time watching it, but the first time that I watched it was on my phone. And uh, now I'm getting ready to watch it. Uh, obviously, you know, I'm getting ready to watch it, you know, live on TV. You know, it sucks, it's unfortunate, but you know, these are some of the things that you have to do when you're a champ, dude. Like, it's just, you have to, be able to make those adjustments, dude, and be able to understand why I'm in the position that I'm in right now and how is it that I can make, how is it that I could make it, you know, make it right, right that wrong. You know, it sucks to where I wanna watch it, but it's more of a, you have to, man, you have to man up. I have to look at my mistakes and what is it? What is it that kind of went wrong? Which I can tell you, like, my, the biggest thing in that fight was just, the biggest thing was just my recovery. There's something that I gotta do better to recover better. <laughs> Fuck it. I do. I do. That dude's doing a hell of a, he's doing a hell of a good job marketing. God. I see, that's one thing that I will say about California. You get all the celebrities come out. I mean, there's people there that, you know, so many people love the UFC and they're big UFC fans that they uh, they enjoy this shit. All them Georgians. Yeah, start off with a nice little leg kick. Distance is good. My distance movement fakes. Yeah, yeah. Right now we're just kind of feeling each other out. Understand, understanding that, to me, I'm recognizing the distance, I'm trying to understand it. A lot of fakes, faints. Yeah, but notice I'm already kind of, I feel like I'm already kind of breathing hard, man. Left hook, left hook catches him. Left hook catches Marab. But man, he was able to recover. He was able to recover right away. Typically, I like to kind of, it's almost like it might, it might have been like a little flash hook but it wasn't like, he was still good. He was still in there. Same thing happened with him and Marlon Marias. You know, where he was, uh, where he got, we got hit. I wanna say it was, a, it was either a left or a right, but same thing, got hurt a little bit. Yeah, man, that, that was, that was the same leg that I kind of pulled my groin, man. Um, there's not much, I mean, there's not much I can say. I mean, obviously I got up from this position. But once the wrestling, the, once the wrestling started coming in, um, once the wrestling started coming in, it's just, if I can change, it just, it just changes everything. Even as a wrestler, right here, I get my own little takedown. And right up top here, I was able to, yeah, I was trying to pull that knee down, pull that knee down. What are the people that call it the lockdown or the scorpion? You know, I was a little too high. I, I should have been a little higher on that lockdown, but I couldn't adjust no more because it was already kind of shrimping out. But there was a position where I could have just kept him here the whole, the whole, the remainder of the round. Even though I kept him here for a little bit. Now I'm above his knee. I just locked down his leg. Yeah, see, I could have maybe used, used and punched punch here a little bit more, kind of punish because he was getting up. Yeah, he just got up to his feet. Kind of could, could have kept him, could have kept him there a little bit longer, could have chopped him down, could have done the whole nine. Uh, maybe knee here a little bit more, just win that battle. Right now I'm, con I'm controlling round one. You know, it's it's one take down a piece, but I got up right away and I controlled him that, I controlled him that, uh, that second takedown. 
But you see what I'm saying? Like, notice, notice this round. Like, look at my compo. Look, look. You can tell I'm already kind of puffing a little bit. Like that should not. Like that should not be happening. Marab didn't do anything special in round one. But I think that's where I'm kind of questioning myself on why. Why, even though I controlled, even though I won that round, I controlled that round. Why the fuck am I breathing so heavy? You know? What do you guys think? Like the size difference? Like I don't, like the, there's, we're pretty much, I think I'm a lot more meatier on the legs and the upper body. You know, he's just a slight, he's just taller than me, but I, th I think stylistically this is, uh, as you see what I'm saying? Like I'm already, I'm already starting the second round super fucking like un, just unbalanced dude. Like, where's my twitch? Oh, nice, nice freaking high dive. Yeah, man, I, I, I could have wrestled more, dude. That's exactly what it was, man. The wrestling stuff, it changes everything, man. Yeah, I could have, could have went back to my movements, too. If you notice, the beginning of round two, like, there's no, there's no movements, dude, or whatnot. Yeah, I'm already feeling it, dude. Two minutes, two minutes into the second round. But you know what I'm saying? If, like, but if you notice too, like uh, towards the end of round one, even though I won it, I was, I was, I already felt fatigued, dude. So yeah, I mean, Marab is a machine, but it's 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 wondering why, it's wondering why I felt like that, like so so soon. You know what I'm saying? Like right now we're fighting, dude. Right now there's there's punches, there's a lot of shit being thrown. Yeah, takedown. I'm kind of like. Ooh, you see, you see my, uh, you see my forearm? You see it? You see the, you see the, you see my left forearm there? Can we go back real quick? You, you're gonna see it. Cause I think it was. I wonder, I wonder if it was a beginning or. Watch, I want you, I want you to look at my left forearm. Look at my, look at my left forearm right now. Watch. You, you can already see the. You see it? You see it? Look at look how it's already deformed. Look right there. You know what I'm saying? So when it when it when did when did that kick take place? Second round, the beginning of the second. Damn, I could I could have still I could have still potentially fucking stole this round within a minute thirty left. You know I could there could have been a little more urgency in me or going big with something, or maybe catching a takedown and controlling them again. You know what I'm saying? Tight. Was it it, no, it was just it was just controlling. Like there's like why am I gonna fight something where he's in a position that it could get tight? You know what I'm saying? There was no, 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 no. No, like and he knew that. I don't know what he was saying when he talked or whatever he said. No, cause I was I was gonna go straight to my back. So right there, you just relaxed. Yeah, I was just relaxed, dude. Yeah, but notice notice guys again, dude. I was I was I was exhausted already in round one and that not that much wrestling fucking took place. Like that's like that's like my biggest thing, man. That's like, like that's the stuff that's bothering me, dude. Yeah, so it's it's one one going into the third. Um, I fucking bruise up so quick, dude. Like in my face, man. Every time something happens, I just bruise up quick, dude. Man, it's just fatigue, man. Like it's fatigue on my side. Dude, I can run this fucking pace. I can go this pace. It's just that why, why in round one, at the end of it, am I fucking huffing and puffing like that? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like there wasn't anything drastic to make me feel like that, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, I probably should have just fucking went down, dude. I probably should have, I probably should have just went down, man, on that. You know what I'm saying? Like taking myself, I probably should have just taken myself back before he fucking lifted me like that. Yeah, I'm just, it's just, it's fucking fatigue, dude. I totally lost my fucking position, man. Yeah, I was, I, I was already too late, man. I was already too late to, why take, why try, like even this stupidity, like why try to, why, like why try to take him down? You see what I'm saying? Is it? That's, that's what I'm saying. Well, once I watch it, I'm just like, yeah. I mean, if you're in the crowd, you get slammed like that. It is, it is fucking embarrassing or, or whatever. 
But overall, like looking at this fight, I lost. I lost clearly. I lost clearly. But I think I think it was it was more of what could have what what I could have done a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? What is it that I've could have uh, you know really really got into the my really recover a little bit better? You know what I'm saying? And those 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 are adjustments that probably doesn't have to be like don't need to be done inside the uh, don't need to do inside the fight. Like it really had to do with my training camp, man. And uh, the reality is, is, man, with a guy like that, you cannot take you cannot take any of those crazy chances because the do uh, anybody that has a gas tank like that, they're dangerous. Um, you know they're dangerous, and if you if and if you're not equipped, and if you're not ready for that for the wrestling uh, side of things, like fatigue will set in for anybody. So, I think uh, yeah, I, I, I again I lost the freaking fight, man. Like I lost the fight, and there's not much that I could uh, there's not much that I could say, do, or whatever that may be. He got me. He got me, and. You know, I'm still I'm still looking to see if if there's anything going on with my forearm, where it could potentially be fractured or who knows, man, maybe even broken. But uh, whatever it is, man, I, I gotta give Marab his his roses. Um, he won. I think I think with that cardio pace that he's gonna bring to the table, I think uh, I think it's gonna be hard for a lot of these guys to eventually stop him. You know, I gotta, I gotta get back to it, man, and I gotta, uh, I gotta put myself in that same position, man. So I gotta continue to keep training, get, get some of that timing back, and then this time around, like really spend time on the wrestling, man. You know, like if you, if you can't wrestle, if if I cannot wrestle, and particularly against a guy like that, then maybe then 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 I probably shouldn't take a fight like that. You know what I'm saying? I, I overestimated my. Uh, I just maybe if it was maybe it wasn't necessarily underestimating these dudes. It was just more of maybe just I've been getting away with murder for so long. I remember fighting Marlon with the sprint ankle, ripping my shoulder out. But I was also fucking 32 years old. <laughs> like I can't get away with that stuff no more. So it's just uh, it's just uh. It's just a learning lesson for me, knowing that, you know what, age is not just a number. I think I, I gotta really modify and do things correctly. So I go back and say, hey, you know, Brandon Moreno, let's run it back. Let's run it back, let's do it right. I think uh, we're both on a two fight losing streak. I think there's history there. I think you talked about going up to 135 pounds. Like Brandon, I, I, I would love a fight with you. I think we can settle the score, dude, once and for all. So let me know what you think. Um, you know, guys, I lost the fight. I mean, did I have a, a, an embarrassing moment getting picked, uh, being picked up? 100%. But uh, I, I know that I could, if, if I could jump back on track and really get my shit in order and really understand where is it that I could recover and maybe modify the camp a little bit, that everything's gonna be all right. So that's it, man. I got no excuses, but till next time, if I control me, if you want, maybe it'll motivate me. And now we're gonna take it to the big screen. Okay guys, so I just wanted to come over to the big screen guys, because I do it to everybody, I might as well do it to myself. It's a bit embarrassing, but guess what? It has to be done. Let's hit the play button. See, there's just some of the highlights during the fight, you know? Started off good, man, for me. I felt, you know, my stance, my position, loaded, you know, boom, start off with the kick. I was sitting right through his own, just really good. Almost like I probably should have been moving a little bit. Boom, catch him with the left hook. Rattled him a little bit, but same thing with Marias. Marias had caught him with a nice little punch. Bah, I caught him flush too. You know what I'm saying? I caught him real flush. But you gotta give credit what it's due. And I think, and I feel like Marab really just did a good job of just recovering. You know, just, just recovering uh, after that blow. And, and I could tell when somebody's hurt, but I could tell when somebody's not hurt, you know? Yo, know, his entrance. And that's one thing that I will say about Mar Mar about Marab, is he really surprised me with that overhand, you know? And then obviously I got one of my own.
You know, talk about a reshot. Real nice. And I was able to I was able to control him here for a little bit. I like how calm, I like how calm his coach is. <laughs> you know. Yeah, so round one, I, I definitely it was my round. I got the nice left, control more of the time. Obviously went in for a high dive. Nice takedown. But Marab did a just good job of being in that tripod position. And I think that changed the you know, he just got up to his feet. And then and then around this time did I, I think I already started getting tired. I feel like I feel like after round one I started getting a little bit tired a little bit more. But then right here, this is where we just we just kinda got into that sparring mode of kinda stupid on my side. Did you see what I'm saying? Like I just bailing out on takedowns where I should be probably be would have been running in my hips, little things of that nature. I mean he threw a lot, but a lot of it a lot of if you notice a lot of it was actually missing. Oof, but right here. Bah guys, I think uh <laughs> that was a kick. I I caught his full shit in that form in the last the first couple minutes of round two. This is where we did a good job. This is where we did a really good job. Can you yeah, grab the waist and then a pick at me with his uh with his with his leg. And right now I'm just trying to, you know, looking at the fight now, I'm just trying to find, find the fence, you know, trying to look to get up, to come up, use, use the fence as a prop. And, uh, yeah, yeah, right there again, I could, should have, I could have got up, but because once he, once he had, once he had my, once he had my, once he had my head trapped here, it was hard for me to think of anything else. So I was pretty much kind of like, all right, man, I pretty much got to wait this thing out. Because if I slowly start moving, like there's nothing that I could do. If I slowly give this guy an inch, then we'll become tighter. Did he have control 100 percent? Yeah, man, that's it's unfortunate because I know how different I fight, you know? And again, it was that damn overhand once again. His timing off that overhand is so quick. And he's able to throw that overhand and really level change again. Good. So then he, he was trying to do the same thing as last time. Yeah, but Rob's just throwing, dude. He'll just, he'll just throw, just, you know, he'll, he'll just throw, just kudos to him. Like he played, he plays a probability game. Once he got me down to the cage, once, once he got me here and he was able to, boom, my butt, my butt hit, that's when he was able to lock his hands and there's nothing I could do. I was thinking during this fight of maybe going down underneath, but I was too high. You know what I'm saying? Doing like a, going off to the side. So, because he did get me forward like that, like there is no scrambling that I could that I could do, so I was screwed in that position. Tried the inside trip, like like just talking about really having an off night. Uh, no fakes, no feints, like throwing just throwing things out of the norm, dude. You know, I'm I'm pretty, you know, I'm pretty disgusted, man. He, I, I rewatched the fight. I felt like it was a lot worse in person because I was shooting the crowd and maybe I wasn't the fan favorite and I heard a lot of screams, but I think. Uh, you know, it is what it is, man. There's nothing that I could do, but just learn from it. Uh, make adjustments during training camp. Uh, maybe just make adjustments. Dude. And I think I got to really figure that out because at the beginning of round one, I was like huffing and puffing. Even when I wandered around and even there was no necessarily like big time wrestling going on. So that th these are things that I have to figure out and really make them right. You know, I don't know if I warmed up too hard early in the morning, but these are these are things that I'm gonna have to answer. But that being said, Marab got the W, man. And he's doing a hell of a good job marketing, doing it for Mexico, like the whole nine. Like, you gotta get, you gotta, I gotta give him kudos. You know what I'm saying? It's it's cool because Marab is, Marab is Marab. Like he has his own, uh, he has his own humor. I think people are really starting to to dig it and like it. I think, uh, I think his, I think he's got, obviously he's got the next title shot. He's going to be there in Miami, you know, Cheeto versus, uh, versus Sean O'Malley. So who, he will be there in person. So I think either way, I think the winner or whoever fights Marab, I think it's going to be easy money. His pace is too ridiculous. Unless she, unless O'Malley or Cheeto catches him early in round one or, or, or round two. But I will say this. This dude could take a hit and still keep coming forward. I've seen him get decked by Ricky Simone, still came forward. See, I saw him get rocked by Marlon Marais and myself with that crazy hook. So this guy's got an endurance, man. He's, uh, you know, the, the time is for him to become a world champion. And uh, 
That's it. I think I think it, even if he was to fight Aljamain Sterling, gain a chance to be in there with both of them, he'd beat Sterling too. He really will. I think I think the pace that he would carry even with a guy like Sterling, I think uh, I think he gets rid of him. You know, like like this guy, especially in a five round fight, it's impressive. Man. It's impressive with that cardio. But you know, um, was I tired? Yeah, one hundred percent. Uh, and, when, and fatigue will cause a lot of those technical and tactical errors that will eventually take place. So that's it, man. Kudos to Marab. Congratulations to him. Super respectful dude. Like he's always been cool with me. We, we've always shaken hands even before I fought uh, fought, fought Aljamain Sterling. Like he's, you know, he's he's got what he's earned. And I think he's he's planning to be the next uh, Bantamweight champion of the world. And the only thing that the Triple C could do now is climb up. And I still want that fight with Brandon Moreno. So Brandon Moreno, you had a shitty ass performance, just just like me. I say we get, I say we get it on, dude. I say me and you both fight Mexican Independence Day and stop the bullshitting. You called me out after this whole fight with Aljamain Sterling. It's time to make it right. It's time to put that drama to sleep and see who is the best fighter, at least in between us. That's it. This video is brought to you by the one and only Lifted Trucks. You may be a short king. You may be 5'4", a twisted, still in sex appeal. But guess what, guys? I'm on the street. I'm about 12 feet damn tall. So it is what it is, guys. You're a short king. You guys make sure to go to lifttrucks.com. But until next time, Triple C is out! <laughs> <laughs>